Hey there, I am back with another deck review, and today I'm going to be looking at Star Wars playing cards from Theory 11. Now, Theory 11 does a lot of different collaborations in creating their uh, high-end decks, but this is the biggest that they've ever done in collaborating with Lucasfilms and Disney to create the Star Wars decks. Uh, and I'm not going to talk too much about the inspiration. You know what it is. It is, of course, the iconic Star Wars movies so you're going to see lots of bits reference all the way through here it does come in two different decks of course you've got the light side and the dark side prominently featured through all of the movies uh, i'm going to try to look at these in parallel because there's a lot of similarities uh, between the styles of the decks even as there's differences through all of the details so i'm going to try to kind of go through them together but we're going to start by going through the tuck case of the light side deck right here now it is a matte black uh, stock and just like all tuck cases from Theory 11, it's just really beautifully embossed and foiled all the way through. Really liberal use of foil, uh, both blue foil, and then you've also got a uh, clear foil that's applied. You can see that on the windows here. See how that kind of reflects. Uh, so you get both blue and clear foil, producing just a really fantastic look to the deck. Uh, it says Star Wars playing cards in the center. Uh, the middle is sort of this... Uh, like you're looking out the uh, the cockpit of like the Millennium Falcon or something like that. So looking out at the stars outside and it's surrounded by all sorts of little details from the film. We've got a Y wing at the bottom here, an X wing flying at the top. That's what Luke Skywalker flew. Uh, you've got Luke's lightsaber on either side. And then you've also got symbols up here. So you've got the symbol for the Rebel Alliance as well as the uh, Galactic uh, the Galactic Republic up here. Uh, there's also some little kind of hidden elements. So you'll see these sort of dots and dashes here, as well as at the bottom. That's actually Morse code. Uh, so if you translate it out, it says, do or do not, there is no try. Um, Yoda's most, arguably his most famous line uh, right there. Uh, you've also got a few more dots and dashes here in the center. That's meant to say, may the force be with you. Uh, pretty much everybody says that. Uh, there's actually a little bit of a typo in here. Uh, this symbol right here, this dot, dot, dash, uh, that's a U. It's meant to be an F, uh, but they did a U instead. So it's may the Uors be with you. Uh, so a small typo, a little, uh, little bit of an error on the deck right there, but still really beautifully done, heavily embossed all the way through. Really nice. Love the details on this. Uh, on the sides, you've got a couple of extra quotes. You've got luminous beings are we uh, from Yoda. And then on the other side, may the force be with you, said by pretty much everybody. Uh, the bottom has your ad copy for Disney, Lucasfilm, and Theory 11. And then on the top, covered up by that foil seal, uh, you've got do or do not, there is no try. Uh, Yoda's famous line again. Now you get a circular foil seal on this one, has the uh, Rebel Alliance uh, symbol, and it says join the rebellion. And then the same thing written here in, uh, in I believe it's called Arubesh, but uh, one of the written languages that's featured throughout the films. And then on the back here, you've got a foiled representation of the back of the cards. Uh, just all sorts of beautiful details you can see here. We'll see the back of the cards in a second and talk a little bit more about some of these designs, but you've got more of that arabesque over here. So this side says the force, and then you flip it around on this side, it says light side. Um, other details we'll take a look at as we look at the cards in a second. I right, open it up, get some more details. We've got the uh, Y wing flanked by a couple of X wings and then stay on target. Uh, that's one of the quotes from the, um, from A New Hope uh, as they're going on that trench run to go destroy uh, to destroy the Death Star. That's what one of the pilots yells out. And you've got a couple of extra ships uh, featured here on the inside. Nothing else printed on the interior of the tuck case. There's often stuff printed on the interior of tuck cases for Theory 11 decks, but not on this one. Still, really beautifully done deck. Uh, love just the blue foil and the color on that one. All right, now let's jump over and take a look at the dark side deck. So very similar design overall, but tons of differences in the details as you go through this. Uh, obviously, the blue foil is now swapped out for red foil, uh, symbol of the dark side. So they all use red lightsabers. Uh, the window here is kind of a slightly different design. Uh, it's meant to look like you're looking out the Imperial Palace window as you go through here. Uh, the ships have changed out, so you've got the uh, 
Darth Vader's Thai advanced fighter down here. Not sure what this one is. I don't know if this is Kylo Ren ship, but it's a little bit hard to see because it's covered up by that tuck seal. Uh, you also have now the symbols here. So this is the symbol of the First Order in one corner and then the Galactic Empire in the other. Uh, the lightsabers have been swapped out. So these are now Darth Vader's lightsabers on either side. Uh, all of the all of the uh, Morse code up here says the same thing as it did before. So no differences on that. Uh, quotes on the sides have also changed. So now you've got the power of the dark side on one side. And then now I am the master uh, from Darth Vader to, uh, to Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, right there. Uh, the back is also changed out. So right here, you've got that Arubesh. Still says the force on this side. But now on this side, it says instead of light side, it says dark side for the dark side deck. Uh, symbols and everything are changed out, but again, we'll take a look at that uh, more closely with the back design of the cards. Uh, on the top, it says the force is strong with this one. Uh, and then the uh, foil seal is now swapped out, it says defend the empire. And then the same thing repeated in Arabesh, replaced, of course, with the galactic empire symbol there in the center. So really beautifully done, Tuck. As you open it up, you've got the uh, the Darth Vader's TIE advanced there in the center and then flanked by a couple of TIE fighters on either side. It says, I have you now. Uh, another quote from that trench run uh, during the attack on the Death Star. Uh, two more TIE fighters there feature on the inside. And that is the tuck. So that's the, uh, that's the two tucks. Really beautiful. Love both of them. I think they did a great job with those. Uh, now looking at the cards. Uh, so we'll start with the back design. So here's the uh, light side one. And then side by side, here is the dark side. You've got one done in blue, one done in red. Very similar to the design we looked at on the back of the tucks. Both have a thin white poker border, but feature all sorts of different design elements. So on the light side back, uh, you've got the droid uh, R2-D2 sort of piloting there in the center. You've got the uh, the view out the Millennium Falcon there and kind of going into warp speed as the stars sort of fly by. You've got the Rebel Alliance symbol, the Galactic Alliance, uh, as well as uh, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber on either side. And then up here in the corners, you have the symbol for, uh, for the Jedis. So there's a Jedi symbol there in the corners. Uh, and then all sorts of little tiny details. You've got the little X-Wing fighters here providing a little extra design element. You've got that Arubesh writing again with the force and light side on either side. Uh, so just really beautifully done two-way back design. Flipping over to the dark side, a little bit different. So now where R2-D2 was, you've got sort of a half of the Death Star represented there. Now switch, switch out the symbols here. So this is the First Order and the Galactic Empire. And then the symbols in the corner, these are actually from the newest movies, from the Rise of Skywalker. Uh, that's the symbol that's used on the, uh, on the, on the Sith Troopers. So that's kind of a newer symbol that was added just in the very most recent movie. And then, of course, Darth Vader's lightsabers there on the side. Really beautiful. Both finished out with that thin white poker border. Uh, tons of detail in those designs. Really just think they're fantastically done. Now, that's where the differences between the two decks end. So everything else, I'm just going to look through one deck. All of the cards themselves are the same. I think there's a little bit of a missed opportunity. I kind of wish that they'd gone with uh, differences, you know, done like all light side characters in one deck and all dark side on the other or something like that. But the two decks are the same bases. So let's go through those and take a look. So starting with extra cards that you do, that you get. So you get a pair of Jokers. Uh, both of them feature famous droids from the... Uh, most recent set of movies. So you've got BB-8 over here with uh, one of his most famous uh, comedic relief scenes doing the little thumbs up with the with the flame there. Uh, it says Joker, Joker in the corners and then features that really cool illustration of BB-8. And then this is D-0 or D-O uh, from, uh, from the Rise of Skywalker. So this is the newest droid added to the lineup right there. So there's your two droids as jokers. You get a couple of ad cards, one just a basic Theory 11 ad card, and then another one for Star Wars. Just kind of repeated on either side. I uh, wish they'd done a gaff card, uh, but not bad. So there's the extra cards now into the deck. So all of the aces are going to feature different ships. The Ace of Spades is the most prominent one. And this has got to be one of my favorite designs for an Ace of Spades on pretty much any deck. Features... 
a large spade pit, but the design in the back is sort of a line drawing of the X-Wing as it rises out of the swamps of Dagobah. Very, very cool. So it's Luke's, uh, Luke, after having uh, crashed into Dagobah, uh, his X-Wing is kind of raised out of the swamps by Yoda. So you can see Yoda down here with his arm extended and then the X-Wing dripping as it's raised out of the water. Very cool. Nice thin uh, pip and index in the corner, but really beautiful design on this one. Kind of done in those, uh, I don't know if that's a metallic, uh, kind of a gold colored ink on that one. Uh, then as you go through, the pips are all custom. They feature these kind of dual tones, which is nice. A little bit of a play on the uh, dark side and light side of the force, uh, but very small pips all the way through. Uh, pretty standard layout on these. Nothing too special on the number of cards other than those nice custom pips. And then you get to the court cards. And I love these designs. So they feature, of course, classic Star Wars characters, but they're really beautifully positioned uh, and designed as part of the uh, as part of the court. So they're kind of reminiscent of the of the poses and styles that you'd see with classic courts. But you've got Boba Fett featured over here holding his gun. Uh, you've got Queen Amidala as the Queen of Spades. And then, of course, Darth Vader is the King of Spades holding his lightsaber with his arm outstretched. So really beautiful designs. Love the color scheme with those kind of reds, grays, and golds. So both really familiar as court cards, but then fam really familiar as their individual characters as well. I think really nicely done on those. Uh, as you jump into the diamonds now, we've got another ship featured here. So this is the Slave One, Boba Fett ship. Much smaller than we looked at before, so it's just sort of overlaid on top of the diamond. Very clean, very simple look to it. Uh, the diamond pips, again, are sort of that dual tones. So you've got the uh, kind of darker maroon. It's kind of formed with uh, black stripes on it. Don't know if you can see that. And then the uh, more straightforward red on the other side. Pretty basic diamond pips. And then you get down to the next set of quartz. So you've got Lando Carlacion uh, as the Jack of Diamonds, Rey uh, holding her bow staff as the queen, and then an older Luke Skywalker. Luke Skywalker from the most recent set of movies. You got the metal hand there and holding his lightsaber, but Luke Skywalker featured as the King of Diamonds. Very cool look to those. Uh, jumping to the clubs now, uh, we've got Emperor Palpatine featured right there, kind of shrouded in mystery. You can barely see his face. Uh, Mon Mothma, one of the founders, uh, generals and founders of the Rebel Alliance. And then Kylo Ren with his sort of tea guard there as the Jack of Clubs. And then here we go down through the clubs and finishing out, oh, there's the Ace of Clubs. So you've got uh, the Ace now features uh, Darth Vader's tie advanced. So his fighter right there. And then the hearts. So now you've got uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I think that's a great choice as the suicidal king, uh, given how uh, he meets his demise at the end of A New Hope. Told you there'd be spoilers. Uh, and then you've got Leia as the queen of hearts. And of course, Han Solo with his gun extended in the, as the jack of hearts. And then down through the hearts and finishing at last with the Ace of Hearts, and it is the one and only Millennium Falcon featured there. So that's it, that is the cards. And like I said, the two car, uh, decks are the same between them, so you're gonna see the same exact faces as you go through the dark side deck. Uh, as far as handling, these handle really, really nicely. They're printed by USPCC. They fan, they cut beautifully, so no complaints whatsoever on that one, uh, you know, on that front. Uh, it's what you've come to expect if you've held any USPCC deck or any Theory 11 deck. They always do a great job there. So that's it. That is a look at the dark side and the light side decks from Theory 11. This is Star Wars. Hope you enjoy these as much as I did. I'm a huge fan of Star Wars myself. Uh, so for me, this was just a really easy pickup. Really glad to have these in the collection. Uh, I think Theory 11 did a great job in putting these together. Did a great job paying homage to just a classic series. So hope you enjoyed that. Uh, subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings. Let me know down, know down in the comments uh, what you thought of the review. Uh, and hey, go ahead and click the like button while you're there. Uh, so thanks a lot for watching. Uh, let me know what else you wanna see for future videos and I'll see you for the next one.